Well, it is 543 and the Ritz Carlton is set to open later this summer. It will be the fourth tallest building in Portland and you can find it off Southwest 10th and Washington. Cora Harlan joins us live this morning on the 21st floor with a preview of some of the residences uh, that have a pretty nice view of Portland and beyond. Hey, Cora. Boy, you are a queen of the understatement on when you say pretty good view. Carl is in the entryway to this uh, residence here on the 21st floor of the uh, what they call block 216 right now. Carl, I'll just have you walk in. Let's pause for a moment and pan the room, Carl, because this is what it looks like. We're facing east here from the 21st floor. That guy over there is Terry Sprague, one of the uh, principal uh, brokers here in the, in the building here. We'll get to him in just a minute. Hang on just a minute, Terry. The view is too good. To, uh, to even talk over. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous morning. The sun is coming up behind the flash cube building over there on Burnside, and this is really awesome. We've been talking, this is Terry Sprague, and again, you are the principal listing agent here, correct? I am. We're talking about what to talk about, and Terry says to me, we don't really need to talk about anything. Look what you got here in terms of a view. It's just marvelous. Let's do begin with the design of the building itself, though. And Carl, I want you to take a look at that little thing there. This here, turn to your right, turn to my side. That is a sunstone right there. Sorry to confuse you right there. That is the Oregon State Rock. It is. And Oregon explain State to Stone. me the significance of the Oregon sunstone as it relates to this building. So when Ritz Carlton does a building now, they research where they're building the building. And this is the Oregon sunstone. Uh -huh. And if you take a look at the building, it's actually designed to mimic the Oregon sunstone. And so like the sunstone, it changes colors, it has different reflections, huh. and the building is a crystal in the middle of Portland. That's awesome. It really is. Carl, go up to the window, uh, leave us alone for a minute, and just show people the view from up here, because I'm looking at a lot of uh, rooftops of other buildings here. This will be the, well, this is now the fourth tallest building in here. Terry, when you're, when you're trying to sell, uh, of course, these units, I would think, sort of sell themselves, but what's, what's, what's the... What's the selling point here? I mean, there's, there's tons of them, but what do, what do you like about this? What do you like to tell people the most about these uh, residences? Well, first of all, you just come in here and you have that moment where you say, I want this. Uh, <laughs> I've already had it twice. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, most residences in Portland stop at around the 15th, 16th floor. Uh -huh. These residences begin on the 21st floor. We're on the lowest level of the residences right now uh -huh. and check out the view. Uh huh. Wow. And all the building has a lot of amenities that you don't need to leave the building, really. You have, you have a place to walk the dog. You have a spa. You have a place to work out. You have a place to go take the dog, right? You have a place to do your business. When you're a resident here, you have your own business lounge. You have your own boardroom. Uh -huh. uh, and, you know, one of the luxuries uh -huh. is time. And I think we've all gotten used to how do we find time to meet with friends. Uh -huh. When they come to visit you here, you just let the valet park the car and have them ring you and come down the private uh, residential elevator and, and start is. socializing. Carl's showing you kind of the bedroom there. We can get to that in a minute. Carl, take a, take a left-hand turn there and show folks the West Hills here because this is, uh, it's, it's ceiling to floor, glass windows, looking as far on the left side here. I think I can see the top of Mount Rainier over there as the sun kind of comes up all the way over here into the West Hills. And it has got uh, just, 50 million dollar view. I don't know, that's not what the what condo costs, but the view is just priceless. It's really awesome up here. We're going to be up here all morning. We'll talk with Terry a little bit more about these residences, about the conditions downtown. Of course, everybody is kind of down on downtown right now, uh, but... Uh, well, we're up on downtown right now. We're up on downtown. Up and well, let's mix that up a little bit next hour or so, because this is really something to behold here from the 21st floor of the Ritz-Carlton Residences taking in a beautiful sunrise this morning. Let's go around here, around here for the, uh, the balcony shot. Hang on a second here, because I got balconies here. Emily and Ken, come on over here. Say good morning, because it's a beautiful time out here. And that, I think, I think that is Mount Rainier, way out there in the wow. distance, but check that out. Okay. Nothing wow. I can say is gonna beat the view from here, right? That's, that is not a bad way to start the day. Have a cup of coffee on that porch, 
you're, you're doing all right. Goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, it is uh, quite the, the building development. Uh, I mean, the building itself. Uh, let's take a look at it from the outside. We've got a shot from the Coin Tower that's right there in the center of your yeah. screen. That is the Ritz-Carlton Portland, $600 million, uh, 251 uh, hotel rooms once it opens up later this year. And uh, the 132 residences, one of which uh, Core was in there with Terry Sprague from yeah. Lux4 Properties. So, well, that, that's, that's, so that's, that's, yeah. that's the side. Yeah, so that's a live look from Coin Tower. That's what? the side of the building that Core was on because yes. he was looking at the sunrise. So I wonder if we zoomed in, if we could see him on a oh, board there. Oh, give it a shot. <laughs> we were trying. Okay, let's see you what know, we can do. You know, just sitting out there with his, with his cup of coffee and a camera. Yeah. I don't know. I wonder oh, if he's God. still outside. Yeah, yeah. We'll, have to, uh, we'll have to take we'll a look again. here in the commercial break. Yeah. But, man, it's a nice looking building.